All right, you be. It's boots on here. This is an old Hitachi jigsaw that I got, oh maybe twenty something years ago. Got it new, and it's a bit rough sounding. That's the model number there. It's an FCJ55. It's a Z series kind of home series Hitachi. I thought the mechanism inside was going to be completely dead, so I was just going to take it apart and have a look and see how it failed. But, um, as we'll see, it wasn't so bad in the end. So I've started by taking out all the screws on the plastic handle, taking the base plate off, and I'm just taking out the jigsaw blade at this point. And there it is opened up. You've got a motor, you've got a fan, you've got a set of gears to drive the up and down shaft. Everything seems to rotate freely. No, there's no real damage. This is the shaft that the jigsaw blade rides on. It's all free and clear. It's free and it's not loose. That was the other critical point, that it wasn't loose. Most of these times, something like the cogs will wear out. I've seen a chop saw that I had where the cogs, the teeth, had completely rung off. It was a worm drive one, that. This is this is different. It's just a normal a normal gear. There's the eccentric cam. And I'm just checking the bearing on the end of that. So it all seems okay. And I look at it and think, you know, there's nothing wrong. So I'm going to give it a bit of a clean down. Uh, just clean the switch out there. There's nothing wrong with the switch. It was fine. Um, I tend to keep tools, my own tools, very, very clean, and if I get them new, they tend to last a long time. As I said, I think I got this when I was about 14, so you're talking, I don't know, yeah, about 20 years there. I've got the air gun here, just give it a blowout with a bit of compressed air, and the same with the other side of the plastic cover. Compressed air is pretty decent on this, you could use a brush or that, but compressed air really, really cleans stuff out, and you can get that with a guy up an air compressor and gotten little or something like that but you can just get air in a can which just seems a bit wasteful to pay for an empty <laughs> potentially empty can so here's the reassembly here um just putting the cam on and then the driving cog with the eccentric uh, pin on it and just check and play there and it all seems okay and so here's the shaft that goes up and down so i'll give that a bit of a clean just checking it for play it seems you know it seems pretty reasonable it seems very clean now i wouldn't use this very often um, I don't use a jigsaw much, but and it's not a, it's not a very heavy duty model, but I've used it for pretty much everything that the blade can cut, work tops, um, any kind of timber. Uh, but here's the critical bit. I've just there's a load of greasy schmoo over on the other side, which was originally in it, and it's probably dried up a little bit. But I'm just repacking all of the moving parts with that grease. Um, it's the original stuff that came in the jigsaw, so it's not um, anything special. You know, I haven't gone out and bought anything for this, and I'm just reassembling it now. Um, so I put all the screws back in and give it a test. Well, you really can hear a difference in the sound before and after, despite the radio noise and interference in the background, which is really good. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more of them. Check out my channel, check out my Patreon. All the best, bye bye.